Next up, Kenya, the reigning challenger champions from Dubai against Georgia. The challenger runners up from 2022. But Georgia, they never got out of far first gear. In fact, they never got the engine started. A spluttering performance, gifting opportunities to the Tongans. They will be eager to right the wrongs of an underpowered first performance, whilst Kenya laboured to victory against that impressive Portuguese side that we've just seen prevail against Tonga. It took a couple of their experienced heads, Vincent Oyen, Onyala and Anthony Amondi to keep them in it, but it was the debutant, Chrisant Ojwang, who stole the show and stole the match right at the death. With a try on debut. How Ricardo Santos will know the Shuja oh so well from his days and their days in years gone by on the HSBC sevens. Georgia, they've never been a core nation. In fact, their last appearance on the HSBC Sevens was in Edinburgh in 2009, 15 years ago. It was defeat in the Shield semi-final to the USA back in the day when we had Shields. Kenya set upon the Georgians who decide to play. Chichinadze. There, yellow card in that opener. Big performance required from him. Kekishvili on the other end of the chain. Smarter start. Sharper hands from the Georgians. Matiashvili taking it to the floor and presenting for a quick recycle. Kehadze. Oh, Georgia stripped in the tackle. 1-0 Kenya in the early physical duel. Six meaty men. Impressing their strength upon each other, but it's Kenya who come away with the clean ball. They go dancing through Dennis Abakuse. Back in the side, having missed the bite. Yellow card in the first match. John Okoth stops, starts, goes again. Just gets dragged down by a boot lace and he's isolated. Well, the tap taken quickly by Chuadze. Georgi Chowadze feeding Chinchinadze. Oh, the burst down the right edge. And off goes Nikolas Rekiashvili, whose long, limber levers spin and reach. And Georgia have their try to open this match. The combination of strength, speed, and awareness of just where he needed to dot down was enough for the 26-year-old and his first score of his trip to South America. Soso Matiashvili, most experienced member of the team. Over 150 points in Georgian Sevens colours. The Georgians are looking to hassle and harry this Kenya side who are missing Patrick Adongo. 
11 tries he provided in Dubai. They'll have to find a way to generate those scores without him. So slightly slicker passing would help that cause. Abakuse is forced to spin and then gets embroiled with two white jerseys. Great strength through the contact, but the counter rucking comes and the Georgian jerseys set upon the ball. Chihadze, he's then stolen from. Pilfering pause, both Kenyan and Georgian. And from the five meter line, the Shuja boom the ball and they spin. Matiashvili, who's all alone there, surrounded by Reds. Got to be a side entry, surely, from Irakili Simsive. But the Kenyans regain possession. It's a fractured field. Scrambled defences. John Okoth can't wriggle free of Chihadze. And Georgia. Georgia somehow managed to defend not just their line, but their 22. No way through for the Kenyans. Outstanding work from the captain. Matthias Vili safely delivers the ball. Chitinadze, one more to the edge. Kekfias Vili looks troublesome if he can break free. Matthias Vili decides not to pass to anyone, instead, gets himself behind all of his fellow teammates and then gets himself wrapped in the tentacles. Of the Kenyans, a more called John Okoth sees the ball ricochet off that large chest of his, and this is free and loose and frenetic. Chichinadze doesn't have the accuracy to release Kekfiashvili. No more free control. Red, you have an option. Have an option. You scrum right here or line out? Scrum call? Knock on. Scrum call. Well, it's an exciting contest, I think. But it's certainly lacking a bit of quality. There's an openness. And there is that heightened sense of opportunity. Well, certainly, a team like Kenya with the personnel they have, the experiences that they live together, at the very highest heights of the game, on the HSB7s, HSBC sevens, you would Set, expect to demand a, a degree more of composure. Time back on. Crawl. Bind. Set. Nigel Amaitsa bounces off the left, straightens up. Good first clear out off the shins. Hacked forward by Wakesa. And again, that absence of quality robbing the game of any true rhythm. Sabah Shvadze. who received a red card in Dubai for a late high shot on Cristobal Gabe in the quarterfinal against Chile onto the field. He was 
absolutely distraught by receiving the red in his nation's colors. The young man here looking to make a positive change against the men in red. Wow, that's an intelligent ball. And guess who? Sabar Shvadze racing on to the kindest of bounces, but the most brilliant of pieces of vision. This time, it's a challenger moment to remember. And Sabah Chvadze. And the boots of Sergei Chihadze stretches this lead and makes the halftime huddle all that more confident and buoyant. Because halftime here, and it's Kenya nil, Georgia 12. Seven minutes for Georgia to navigate. Seven minutes for them to see through and register their first victory down here in South America. Great to see the Friday after work, after school crowd. Clustered together on that far side, it will be a busier old stadium. Come the weekend. Famous venue, this. The Estadio Chalrua. Celebrating 40 years in existence. It's hosted some famous pop stars. Some famous footballers. And this weekend, some of the finest seven players in the emerging scene. Kenya, well, they've been fan favorites for what feels like forever. Former Singapore Sevens winners. One of the two remaining legs of the HSBC Sevens this year, but it feels a long way away, just as the prospect of victory does here against Georgia. Trading by 12. Scrum call. Glad ball. A call for the scrum from the penalty. Time is up. We'll have a sub. Samuel Asati. And number one wide. Irakli Simsiva. The former Georgian 20s player heads off. And the arrival of another man who's worn 20s and 18s colours. 20 year old. David Inadze. Georgia haven't shied away from cycling their bench. They've not just brought seven good players, they've brought a squad of 12 that they're backing. To interlink and produce the goods between them. Well, bogged down on this piece of turf here. Normally, there'd be a groundsman somewhere looking for a lie down in a dark room, but given the artificial nature of the pitch, I think we can be comfortable in the fact that the repeated scrums won't have an effect. 
big switch offered. Big pace. And big meters as well. Front foot momentum for Kenya. Can't find a way through Dennis Abakuse. John Oko offering size but losing his footing. It doesn't get ahead of pace. Good turnover, the call. Georgi Chuadze right in the thick of things in Georgia, growing into this game with every positive intervention. Some room spotted, some pace injected. The try scorer, Archvadze, making a nuisance of himself and it's desperate work from Anthony Amondi. Well, this time, it's the Georgians spinning on their heels and it's the Kenyans in hot pursuit. Kevin Wakesa, his footballing skills stand up to the examination. Defenders everywhere. Kenyans looking to plummet through holes. Nice footwork from Vincent Onyala. Not quite good enough. Back to where we were. Halfway line. Kenya looking for an opening switch from Wakesa. Really well led by Red by Imnadze. And again, the turnover good, but Imnadze unders all the good work. By flying in from the side. A lung busting passage and some ribs opened up for a tickle. And the knock on comes. Number 10 and 22. Which color, please? Wet. Kenya at the moment looking bereft of ideas in terms of breaking down this Georgian defense. Georgi Jabava. He got the only points against Tonga. Comes onto the field. Romani Makatadze is also one wearing 12. His motto, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Well, leading by 12, they've got a little room for error. It's Kenya who need to be almost flawless from this point in, but they also need possession. Arshvadze has changed the tone of this match from half-back. It's really sparky. The young Georgian half-back and David Imnadze has sparked into life. He races away. He's fouled momentarily. He rises. He leaps. He sees it clearly now. Victory in the Georgian sights against the champions of Dubai. No chance of the conversion, timed out, and it's a shame because it was a sweet strike in a hurry. David Imnadze, he may have just put this game beyond Kenya. And one must doff the cap to Bezik Kamashuridze. He has cycled his bench with confidence, great confidence. And they've delivered, he's altered the blend. It's been a shape-shifting performance from the Georgians. And it's one that's left the Kenyans chasing shadows and also unable to see the light from the dark when attacking themselves. Archvadze, very much the catalyst. The game is won. 
Kenya are just looking for a positive to take back to the hotel tonight. 17-0 they trade. They look to wriggle free through. And Batesa, he runs out of room. And Kenya have run out of time. Final play incoming. The embraces. The shattered faces. They tell you everything about the commitment and also the emotional significance that this victory means to Georgia. The lineup goes awry. Can you have the advantage? And that really quite sums up the Shooters roar. A whimper on day one, a labored victory against Portugal. And they're just desserts served to Blisi style by the Georgians in the second match. Full time here, Kenya nil, Georgia 17. What a group we have on our hands here. All to be decided in the final pool matches tomorrow.